Hi, welcome to the video diary for today. Um, bit delayed today. Today's been one of those days where we've been, I've been chasing my tail. Um, so, update on yesterday, the wound under the fetlock doing really well, everything's going well, so really happy with that. Today's just been a day of one little drama to the next. Um, so an interesting case today, um, so around 11 o'clock today, it was noticed about an hour earlier, had trauma to the eye. Um, the whole left eye was swollen, we stained it, so what we do with fluorescent stain is uh, the cornea usually doesn't allow anything to attach it, it's a really lubricated surface. When you have damp, when you have a corneal ulcer, we put a green dye in and it'll stick to it. Show up as bright green, we can assess the size of the ulcer. So when we look at that there, one of the things we do can, are concerned about is if once you go through down to another layer, down to the very, very finest layer of the cornea, when there's a really deep damage, um, you can actually get no stain uptake. So if we get that there, it'd be a bit of a concern. But this mare, no stain uptake, but the whole back half of the eye. So sort of the side of the eye was white and um, with a lot of inflammation. So um, we treated with some anti-inflammatories. Uh, pupil was constricted, so horse moved into a box and we dilated the pupil using atropine. I re-examined this afternoon and actually really interesting, we had um, blood. Basically there's blood, there's bleeding in the eye. The horse has obviously had some sort of trauma to its eye. It's obviously hit something or may have been cast in the box and hit its head. Um, but swelling's gone down, but the horse is less painful, so that's really good. So just a little tidbit for today, um, before the weekend. Uh, Eye medications, when we dispense them for your horse, sometimes the, the treat won't be finished and there's still some medication left in the eye, the tube. Often we use an antibacterial stuff. Um, please, please, please throw them away. Put them in the bin. Once they're finished, don't keep them for use on another horse. That's the easiest way to get a fungal infection into the eye. So a little bit of fungus grows on the end of the uh, antibiotic cream. You go to then treat the eye without it being seen by a vet use old cream and you put fungus into the eye. Now a fungal infection in an eye can take five, six, seven weeks of every two hours treatment. So it's a really expensive thing to manage, a really difficult thing and we can often lose the eye. So today's tip it, you know, is if you see your horse with an eye ulcer or an eye pain or the eye's not open properly, do ring the vet straight away. It is an emergency. It's something that needs to be seen within the next three to four hours. It doesn't need to be seen the next half hour, but it does need to be seen the next three to four hours. Leaving it overnight is not the best idea. Eyes can get really bad really quick. So any concerns at all, get the eyes checked. Um, and so as my last client said to me, um, I've learned now not to take this personally, is they hope not to see me too soon again. I realize that that's not personal, hopefully. Um, and it's actually more every time you see me it's usually bad news so hope everyone has a safe weekend and i hope your horses are safe as well and we'll i'll see you again on monday thanks very much bye